Hey everyone, Saints fan back again with another GTA 5 video, and today I want to talk a little bit more about the Import Export DLC. I've been getting a ton of questions on Twitter lately, uh, and even in the YouTube comments asking, like, what's going on? Is, is the DLC still coming out? Because we haven't gotten any word from Rockstar, and many people thought that last Thursday, or at least Friday, they would give us a screen, or you know, a newswire post, a new newswire post with a screenshot, a release date maybe even a trailer and i'll talk a little bit more about that in addition because we actually did get some information yesterday at least some leaked information that could potentially give us some clues as to what we're going to be seeing in the import export dlc at least when it comes to some of the vehicles quickly before we do hop in to all that information i just want to tell you guys that i'm going to be doing a live stream later on today so if you guys want to come hang out have some fun i'll be on the ps4 so if you guys have a ps4 account then Look out for the live stream and hopefully you get in so you can have some fun with this. Now I'll start with the leaked information first because up until yesterday, man, it kind of went dry. Like none of the leakers were saying anything. The Rockstar employee from 4chan, he kind of went quiet. Even Rockstar themselves, they didn't do anything. So many people are like going crazy right now thinking, you know, what's going on? Is the DLC delayed? Are we not going to receive it this Tuesday? Are they trying to send a message because of all the leaks? Like what's happening? Hopefully this video answers those questions, but the actual information we got yesterday was a picture of some of these stock rims from some of the vehicles coming in the Import-Export DLC. I believe this was from Fun MW 2 I think he was the person who found this stuff in the iFruit app. Not, I'm not entirely sure how he got these pictures, but here they are. You can see some of them look pretty cool. Some of them, you know, the, uh, the Ocelot Penetrator. Looks a little odd, but that fits the car though, because the Ocelot Penetrator is the old school supercar, as you'll see in the picture that Rockstar showed. But the reason this is actually interesting, the reason these rims could give us some clues is because if we take a look at some of them and compare them to their real life counterparts, we can see what cars Rockstar may be basing these cars that you see on the, the right there are. First off, we'll start with the Pegasi Tempesta. This one's actually really cool because in the screenshot that Rockstar gave in like that garage, you can see, look at the blue car. It's got the exact same rims. So that gives us some confirmation that that blue car is the Pegasi Tempesta. And if the theory that the blue car is based off of the Huracan, Huracan means hurricane, Tempesta means storm in Italian. Hurricane is a storm. So there you go. That might be the vehicle we're receiving. Next up, the Dubachi Spectre. So this one's kind of cool because in the live stream I did a few days ago where I showed off some of the, some of the modded versions, some of the real life cars, but in GTA, the one we, t we took a look at for the Dubachi Spectre was the Aston Martin DBS. And if we take a look at the Aston Martin DBS's rims, they look pretty damn similar to the ones in the iFruit picture. Also, if we take a look at the DB10 or the DB11, which was the other vehicle that some people were believing that Dubachi Spectre was going to be, the rims don't really look that similar. So that DBS could be the car we're getting as the Spectre. The next one, the Italia GTB. This one's kind of interesting because Progen in-game is based off of McLaren, but Italia GTB is Ferrari. And those rims are also Ferrari because take a look at this 488 GTB from Ferrari. It's got basically the exact same rims. So that Progen Italia GTB in GTA may be more Ferrari based than McLaren based, which I don't know how that's going to look because like, I don't know if that's a typo or if that's what they're going with the Progen in front of it. It should be the Pagasi, but I guess they might want to give Progen more cars. Either way though, I love those rims and I I'm excited to see how they look, you know, in game. And then the one that's the most interesting, the Trafade Nero at the moment or before this stuff came out, I guess. Many people thought that the Trafade Nero would just be the Bugatti Chiron. That's one of the, or that's the successor to the Bugatti Veyron, which is what the Adder is based off of. And since we're getting a Benny's version, many people thought that we're just going to get the Chiron and it's going to be crazy. You know, there's going to be some crazy upgrades for it when you go to Benny's. But the rims in this iFruit picture, they look nothing like the Chiron rims. I mean, look at those rims. They're not even close. But they do resemble a Bugatti from the 90s. The EB110, check out those rims. They're, you know, a little different perhaps, but they're, they're roughly the same and they each have seven different like spokes. So don't be too disappointed, I should say, if the Trafade Nero turns out to be a classic Bugatti instead of the newer version of the Bugatti. 
I mean, you do get to take a look at what Rockstar have, or what these leaks have provided. They're giving us a Comet Classic. We're getting an, a Jaguar XJ220, I believe, which is the orange car, like in the original picture. And that's an old school sort of supercar. So it wouldn't be surprising if this Trafade Nero is an old school Bugatti supercar and not a new school Bugatti supercar. I mean, you guys can let me know your thoughts in the comments about all of that, but I think this looking, we are getting, you know, a little bit more of an idea of what to expect when it comes to these vehicles, at least some of these super and sport vehicles, when the update does drop. Speaking of when that update will drop, that's the, or this is the part that's going to be a little bit, uh, you know, speculation perhaps, but why there was no trailer, is there a potential new release date, you know, what's going on with Rockstar? Here's the thing that I'm going to go back to. I believe it's still coming out on the 13th, just because the CEO event week, why would it end on the 12th? The 13th is right after it. That's a Tuesday. They really, they rarely ever end event weeks on a Tuesday. I don't think they've ever ended a, an event week on a Tuesday unless there's a DLC, or unless there was a DLC being released on that same day. So that's why I still think it's coming out on the 13th. Now, as for why there's no screenshots, no official release date, no trailer, I think what's going to happen is the trailer's going to come out on the release date, like the Bikers DLC, which does kind of suck. But if you think about it from a business perspective, like casual viewers or casual players of GTA, if they see the DLC trailer a week before, they may forget about it when the DLC eventually does drop. But if they see that trailer the day of, they might see it and be like, you know what? That actually looks pretty cool. Let me hop on to GTA and play it. So I think that's why Rockstar are now releasing the trailers the day of the DLC. As for why we didn't get a newswire post with like some more screenshots, some or an actual release date, that's the part I don't know. I mean, you would have thought yesterday they would have given us that, but they didn't. The only reason why you could think and I could think that there's a potential new release date is maybe either Monday or Tuesday they put up that newswire with some more screenshots or some information about the DLC and then give us a release date and then they, they push it back by two days. They push it back to the 15th, which is Thursday. I don't think they're going to go any further than that because then you're getting too close to Christmas and then, you know, that, that's when they're going to have the Christmas DLC. But they could be pushing it back, and this is like super conspiracy tinfoil hat time. They could be pushing it back just to let people know that all these leaks, even that Rockstar employee saying it's coming out on the 13th, all that stuff is not always true. And just to discredit leakers a little bit more, I mean, that, again, is super tinfoil hat time or theories. But internally, they were like super upset with that dude. Maybe they figured out who it was. They fired him, and they're like, you know what? Let's show that he's not right and to not trust these guys as much anymore. But that is it with the video. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Hopefully it answers some questions. What do you think about those rims? What do you think about the whole release date trailer thing? Why do you think Rockstar are, are not giving us any information? Do you think it's still coming out on the 13th? Like I did say, we're doing a live stream later on today, which we can talk about all this stuff because it's going to be somewhat of an import export themed uh, free mode sort of event special thing, but it should be pretty fun. So hopefully you guys come check it out as always though. Please drop a like if you did enjoy, subscribe for more awesome GTA content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.